Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, we, me, and the man on the sticks. We, the me, and the man on the sticks. Right. And I'm play, playing Overwatch. And I'm doing my break placements. Woo! Ooh, dude. Briggy, Briggy you gameplay. You are the biggest brigadier. I'm sure you guys love watching me play on off support, right? Who doesn't? <laughs> Jonas has seen the nature of the uh, the competitive beast, where as soon as one team feels like the tide is shifting in one direction, they all quit out. Yeah, because I used to play this, and that didn't happen then. So I don't uh, know exactly what happened. Yeah, I don't know. I think it may have a lot to do with the fact that uh, there's a lot more people on playing because they don't have like school and work. Right now? Oh, so there's a bunch of just like noobs. Yeah, I run into a lot of noobs in like games now. I'm like, why are there noobs? Did they add Overwatch to like Game Pass or something? <laughs> uh, I doubt it, but I mean, they have time to play now. You it's know, basically like summer break 2.0. Yeah. Please. Okay, I should be killing. No, I'm bad. Okay, I'm terrible. All right, we lost. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty good. <clears throat> nope. That was poor. Wow. Oof. Ooh. Why are you so bad? Dude, I was playing like it was a freaking quick play game at 3.30 in the p.m. in the night, <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I was playing like it was a quick play game at the 6.30 p.m., 3, 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, dude. I said it a minute, too. What are you doing, Reinhardt? Don't be a dummy, dude. Back it <laughs> off. They got that. They got that. No, lady, what are you doing? Wow, he's trying to fight you now. You better try to fight me. Look at that. You thought you were going to get my Reinhardt? I don't think so, fam. Who do you think you are? Uh, <laughs> trying to get my... Jesus, get my Why is he... What is he doing? Oh, Mike Jonas. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the team of not smart guys now. Um, I'm on the not smart guy team. Yeah, dude. Sometimes the guys aren't smart, but you know, sometimes they are. What? Last time, are you gonna be the guy that quits this time? I doubt it. I'm not gonna quit. But, but you won't be able to win either. Because I'm just waiting for somebody on my team to quit. Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? Nah, dude. They're just running in one by one by I one see by it, one. Man, you watch this. Look at this guy. They're all just running in one by one, dude. What are you doing? Didn't you used to have to play ten placement matches? Uh, yeah, they, they shortened that when they came up with the, uh, Oh, the, the pick a, pick a skill, or pick a uh, character type. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, I forget what it's called, though, now, because you gave me so many names it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> now the one that it is it's not in your escapes brain. me. Hey, lady. God dang it! Roll Q. <laughs> Roll Q, exactly. Yeah, that's what it's called. Okay. Oh my god, an actual uh, competitive match. Great. <laughs> That's what I want. I don't, I don't think life. this is quite competitive. Dude, I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you mean no. that like your team is losing for once, yes. But this, like this is this is a very common thing in Overwatch, man, where my team refuses to stick together. So at the very last point where they're forced to stick together. You hold out for a long time. Yes. Oh my god, Reinhardt. Yeah, it's All like right, the fine. game. Well, you said what the, are you doing, dude? You said the game makes you feel good about yourself, and it is true. There are points where it, like, it forces you, because there's nothing else but for you to do but be together in one spot. Like, you can't go anywhere else. So, when you can't do that in the beginning, you're forced to do it at the end. And then you have to try to hold them off for eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So, we, we, we'll end up maybe holding them at the last point. Actually, we're holding them pretty good right here. And we have another Bastion, dude. That is like the short sign of a silver game. <laughs> a bunch of Bastions? <laughs> yeah, dude. Nobody uses Bastion. Yeah, I don't even use Bastion. Good. I'm glad you don't. Honestly. I mean, I sometimes like in quick play, like I'd screw around or something, but like not. Um, <laughs> just would screw it around. Yeah, dude. Just Jones, how often do you screw around, dude? Oh, you know. I feel like no, I don't know. I don't know. I want to know what the, what screwing around is means to you. Um, I don't find. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. I don't either, man. Bump and grind is fine. Yeah, I mean, if you're not treating me right, lady, spend the night. 
baby, put your body on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Jonas, you got it. He's not fooling around with you. Are we, just, we gonna do song lyrics? We can do song <laughs> lyrics. If you wanna do song lyrics, just be the song lyric guys. <laughs> we'll just monologue them all day. <laughs> Let me lick you up and down. Yeah, till you say stop. Let me play with your body, baby. <laughs> Make you real hot. Yeah, that'll I be I wanna the do all the things. Yeah, let's keep going. You want me to do? <laughs> Cause tonight, baby, I wanna get freaking <laughs> with you. Oh, God, that song was so dirty. <laughs> it was like, ooh, let me taste the whipped cream. I. <laughs> it was like, oh my God. Yeah. That was on the radio, like that, driving to that was, Giant Eagle. That was R and B back then, I guess. That's, yeah. That's basically what it was. It was just highly oversexualized. <laughs> it was very much so. Let me touch you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> And it was bad, dude. That oh, yeah, was, dude. That was not good music. Oh, no. You know people smashed to that song a billion times, though. Yeah. Like, what do you think the most smashed to song is out there? The song that has been... Like, yeah, what is, like, the go-to smash song that, that most people would go to, you think? Wait, that? The song that people would go to or the the song that has been had sex to the most? Probably the song. Well, well either or. Well, what song wow. do you think has had? Dude, I think, I, think, I think that also depends on different things, too, because um, I feel like Closer by Nine Inch Nails people do, but not all types of people. Yeah, definitely. Like some people, yeah. <laughs> that's their go-to smash song, I but person. other groups would never do it. Really? Is that? I feel like that's even more niche than that. I don't picture <laughs> soccer moms <laughs> laying down their husbands in 13 years <laughs> listening to Nine Inch Nails Closer. <laughs> but, that's just something you do, and maybe you know two or three other people who have. And you no, I'm, it just, like, I'm just joking, because it just says I want to F you like an animal in it. That's no. why I was just bringing it I up. Mean, I mean, I don't know, man. I would think, like, honestly, I was trying to be, like, clever, and I was going to say, happy birthday, because everybody has one of those, and that song's <laughs> universal. And I was going to say, like, you know. No one listens to that while they F. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone has, like, Disney kids singing. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. That was my next guess. Um, I don't know. Like, I mean, I bet you like Al Green's "Let's Get It On" has been smashed to quite a few times. That's true. Anything from like that era. Yeah. Because like people were having sex then. <laughs> <laughs> you you what what you mean? No one's listening to Limp Biscuit while they get it on. <laughs> People had sex then, too. Well, see, I did it all for the nookie. And you're just smashing them. See, well, then, by that, by that, uh, what do you call that? By that uh, idea, you just basically have to look like when were the most kids born in, in, the, in the past. Yeah. And then what's the most popular song of that era? Yeah, but I think even people today are getting it on to Let's Get It On by, by uh, Al Green. Yeah, but, like, I don't know, old people, <laughs> Are the only ones who listen to that? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know, man. I like. I just can't imagine. Like, imagine like trying to like have sex to like dubstep. <laughs> okay, so yeah, those are gonna be lower tiers. <laughs> like, metal, <laughs> metal dubstep. Hinder, Nickelback. Hinder. You know, soccer moms listen to Coldplay while they get it on, dude. I could see that, man. You need some Bono when you're <laughs> no, that's getting you too. same. I mean, aren't they the same thing? I, nah, <laughs> oh, dude, I'm sure some U2 fans be cutting your limbs <laughs> off for that. U2's like everyone's like U2 is God. I mean, what's wrong with Radiohead? I feel like if you like U2, you probably like Radiohead. I said Coldplay. Okay, well, aren't they all three of them are the same thing? Radiohead, U2, and Coldplay. They're, they're all the same thing to me, Jonas. I'm sorry. Wow. I don't know the difference. Someone's going to be attacking you in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People actually like Radiohead and U2. But Coldplay isn't good? You're the soccer mom. Oh, wait. Coldplay is like the... Uh, is like the... Uh, they like came Moby? Out what? <laughs> Moby? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Moby had another band called Coldplay. Isn't Coldplay basically Moby? I don't. I don't Coldplay know. is. They're not. They're not Moby. All right. I don't oh, even know. They came out. They have very. Uh, 
very adult contemporary vibes. Oh, so they they're like soccer mom music. Yeah, like maybe like um, the Nickelback thing, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, dude. They're not good. That's, that's what I didn't I, know you had that, that feeling about Coldplay. Nah, dude. I mean, they're all right. What what embarrassing music do you listen to, Jonas? Oh, let's see. What do I listen to that's embarrassing? It's got to be something. On the regular, nothing probably. But, I mean, I'm sure in some playlists I have, there's some trash songs. Sure. Um... I shouldn't have gone in. I'm not like a big fan of like Nickelback or anything like that. Like a closet Nickelback fan. Like I go in my room and close the door and put on headphones and yeah. listen to like. You don't listen to like Creed or anything? No. Oh, Creed. <laughs> <laughs> See, now these are like bad bands from our era. That's why we would incorporate not having sex to these songs. Yeah, like that's what like soccer moms were having sex to when those bands came out. So like, are they still having sex to that? Yeah, no, I doubt it. That's like, like, I think I've told the story before about that, like, in Ashtabula, the strip club, there was that one, like, older lady that stripped there, and she would always strip to Creed, and she was, like, 40. She would always strip to Creed. Because, like, and I was only, like, 18 at the time, 20, and she's, like, 40 in there, listen, like, dancing to, like, let me take you higher, and, like, everyone that is my age is, like, what? And that's, and that goes to another thing we talk about, how, like, as you get older, older women look sexy. Dude. I will F a Creed listening to Soccer Mom. Yeah. Like, if I went to that same strip club today and that same lady at that same age was dancing, I'd probably been like, dang, she's fine. <laughs> she's probably fine now, Jonas. How many years ago was this? 20? Yeah, she could get it. <laughs> she, <laughs> right now, she has grandkids. She has great grandkids. I wonder how, like, how, like, an old stripper even looks, man. Like... Like, I, yeah, who are you know? these? There's, there's been old, there's old strippers right now. Oh, absolutely. There's a woman who didn't stop stripping until she was like 47, 50. <laughs> yeah. I like mean, there's some good looking 50 year old ladies out there. Yeah, but it's not natural. I mean, the people not, who can afford to stay looking good at 50 aren't the people who would be stripping at a strip club, probably. Yeah, but strippers are human, so they're not like going to look amazing at 50 all the time. No, no, absolutely not. So I'm just wondering, like, you know, like what what goes through an old stripper's mind? Like, oh, I what don't kind know. Of I mean, what goes through a young stripper's mind? What kind of thoughts does this lady have? I don't know. We are not doing anything, Joe. This is the worst game I've ever played, dude. Yeah, it's got dude. me talking about old strippers. <laughs> I got you all distracted. Uh, it's Sometimes fine, I, dude. Like, you know, you wonder, like, oh, sweet God. It's think about like you the time so you were at the strip club and like what 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 that stripper's doing today. Like twenty years ago, you got a lap dance from this girl. What is she doing today with her life? Basically, man, that's the kind of stuff I want to know. I want to know what goes on in the mind of people who I could I have no idea what their life is even like. Yeah, I like that idea. Like I, I would like to hear what like goes through the mind of a of a of a racist person or like a a person who hates women. <laughs> right, like what they think. So. Like they wake up and they're just like, "God damn, I hate women." <laughs> like, yeah, like, I want to know what what happens in a serial killer's mind. I do. I want to know uh, only to the extent of like, so I can never be that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah. him, dude. But yeah, it's interesting. It's like, yeah, do like racist Get people em. wake up with just racist thoughts on their mind, or like, do they like it just like, happens as the day goes on? Like, do they wake up and they're just like, "God, I don't like white people." <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, is that how they wake up? The first thought is like hate. Or, like, they wake up and they're just like, God, I can't wait to put some women down today. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, what's in their brain? Like, that's so weird. Yeah, or, like, even, like like I said, man, the unreasonable thoughts of a person who could, like, take a life. But yeah, they're just like, you know what I should do? I just want to go kill a man. <laughs> it's like, what? Excuse me? Dude, they're, I don't know. <laughs> that's That's got to be a weird way to live your life. Yeah. Ugh. I would think so. I want to know what was in Jeffrey Epstein's mind before it happened. Yeah. Mm. He probably was like, I can't take on all these guys at once. <laughs> he was probably like, please don't kill me. Yeah. He was probably, probably <laughs> like, man. <clears throat> I promise I won't say anything. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's probably the last thing he thought was, I probably won't say nothing. <laughs> promise. And they're like, you sure won't. <laughs> All right, that's fine. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. 
Make sure you go to the store that yeah. is properly open and don't get arrested for being in the streets. Just have it delivered. Deliver it up, friends. Instacart. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are out.